tell me about your program. My the organization that I work for is called Treaty for Education Alliance, and it's an educational program that's based out of Fort Capel, serving a number of First Nations in the Treaty Four territory, Saskatchewan. Um, my name is Lori Whiteman. I'm the executive director of Treaty Four Education Alliance. I've been working with the First Nations since 2009. And the age groups or your target audi audiences, are they individuals, families, or other? We serve K-12 schools um, through a program, um, through proposal-driven funding um, that we receive from INAC. And we've been working with that program, proposal-driven funding since 2009, and we're currently working to negotiate with Canada to to get more stabilized funding and to build the organization around an inherent and treaty rights based approach and funding model. So we work with K-12, so those would be early learners and middle year students and high schools, high school students, but we also work with families and community members, elders, and with um, well, the, whole, the whole community. Um, really trying to encourage them to be involved in education and to make connections to student learning. Mm -hmm. Aim of the program is teaching what subject? Healing journey, land-based, combining TK with language. So Treaty 4 Education Alliance is an education service provider to um, K-12 schools. So We've worked to take ownership of our own mandate since we began in 2009. Even though we are required to follow certain criteria based on the proposal that's, that comes out of INAC. <clears throat> so one of the requirements of our main proposal is to provide services in literacy, numeracy, and student retention. So since 2009, we've expanded on that and have really created our own um, understanding of what literacy is, what numeracy is, what student retention means to us. And then we added community engagement because we heard from all of the nations that we work with and from the elders that engaging the community in learning is an important part of what we would be doing. So um, there's many aspects to the program now. We've grown over the years. Um, we support teachers in the school, staff and parents and students, um, leadership with their educational programs, with school-based educational programs and, and with other things that they're interested in exploring. And so land-based learning has become very um, popular and very um, a very strong focus of many of our communities. And we've been working in partnership to build on um, land-based learning. We call it learning the land. And um, we have a couple of partnerships. One of them is a long-time partnership with the Nature Conservancy of Canada. And another is a more recent project partnership with Outward Bound Canada. And have been doing some professional development-based modules with teachers from each of the schools to build their capacity mm -hmm. to um, explore land-based learning, to explore um, working with communities, um, intergenerational teaching and learning, um, working with local knowledge keepers and language keepers. Um, our program, our organization has always emphasized capacity building. So unlike a provincial school district mm -hmm. where um, they would be funded as a, as a central office providing specialized services for schools, we've never had the luxury of having that kind of capacity of resources or people. So we really have to make the most of what we have. And um, I guess um, since 2009, we've had to really pick a couple of areas of focus to, to try to... I think what you're doing is, um, is going to really support that as a resource. It's going to bring people together so that they can share and talk about um, the work that they're doing and how we can collectively come together collectively to improve that and to um, 
innovate and to create and to support one another. Aside from the programs in which you are personally involved, what information do you have on other Indigenous educational programs in Canada? Well, we've, um, we've looked at um, a number of other Indigenous educational programs across Canada, particularly the ones that are, that are doing similar to what we've been doing. So the Anishinaabe Education Network in Ontario has come together, similar, similar to us as an alliance to come together to start to build based on what their goals are and what their vision is for education in their territory. Um, Musquachis in Alberta is, has also been doing some work in this regard and has signed, an, I believe, recently signed an agreement with Canada. Manitoba um, has come together as well to start to develop and build on First Nations education in their area. BC has, has done a number of things over many years in, in a tripartite partnership with, with BC provincial government and with the nations in BC. So I think there's lots of, there's lots of really great innovations happening across Canada and into the states.